Hello Virgo, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus, and Cross Watchers. This is Miss again, and this is your reading for November 6th, or November 30th through December 6th. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Check out your other signs for additional insights and information. Okay, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And... Please give me a thumbs up and comment below. It really, really helps out my channel. I put a lot of time and energy into putting out these videos. And that really helps me a lot. Okay, your first card out, Leo is... Or, Leo, I'm sorry, Virgo, is rising above. I set only... I see only beauty and grace. You're rising above some problems and some situations. If you've been down for a while, you this is your week of rising above. And I want you to take note that I almost said Leo, so you might be dealing with a Leo. Okay? Um, we have stepping into stillness. My power is born in the majesty of silence. So I think that you are about to enter a more peaceful time in your life. You're rising above adversity and... You are stepping into silence. You may be doing some contemplating and some thinking and giving birth to a new way of life or new ideas. This could be a new business venture. This could be a whole new life itself, a new relationships. You, some of you could even be moving house because you feel like you need this new start. You rose above adversity. You rose above, you know, that, that which had brought you down. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your main tarot reading. I need five cards for Virgo, please. Five cards. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, you have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Hierophant. You have the Magician. Wow. Wow. Your energy is so strong here. That's, there's Virgo energy right there with the Magician. Um, you've got the Four of um, Pentacles. I want to make a note that Leo, you know how I said Leo at the beginning, almost slipped there. Leo had the same card in the same position. And you have the Five of Wands. Okay. Okay, starting out right away, um, the magician is drawing my attention right in the front center stage. You have the power to manifest the life that you wish, the life that you've been dreaming, okay? Uh, there, the magician is a master, and you, you might even be thinking about taking some classes or courses. That's not for everybody. Not everybody is going to be taking um, classes, online classes even. But this is about... Um, you may be thinking about some kind of extra training to enhance your skills and master something here. Um, we have the, um, the seven of pentacles. The seven is progress. Okay. You are making progress in your life. You are moving forward. You're like I said, you are rising above certain things because you held the faith. You've held the confidence and the, the Hierophant is also another card of learning. The, the Hierophant is inner wisdom and guidance. Okay. And being committed. So I feel like that whatever it is you're trying to manifest, being committed and not giving up is, is playing a key role in this. Okay. And you have to trust your inner wisdom. That's When you step into your silence, when you step and go within, you're going to find that inner wisdom, that inner guidance to guide you along the way to some sense of stability. You're going to get out of that stagnant energy and you're going towards stability here. And um, we have the five of, uh, of wands here. There could be some arguments that come about just saying. Um, I feel as though that there are going to be some people that may not be on the same page as you. But it's about rising above, ah, rising above the obstacles that have been presented before you that have held you back. That have left you kind of stuck. And you've been very patient with um, with yourself. And you've been just kind of waiting for your break. You've been waiting for a break in life. 
And I feel as though, Virgo, you are on the verge. You, it is coming to you. You have the power to manifest this yourself. And like I said, it, with these two cards together, I feel as though that you might have an opportunity presented to you to, to further education or give you further training to or of some sort. Whether this is a spiritual training to teach you about some the spiritual side of things that will help you manifest things or whether this is dealing with work and career so that you can advance. Okay, let's see. Um, let's get some clarifiers here. If you like the music that I'm playing is from Epidemic Sound. Um, I am a subscriber. I put a link in the description box below. It is um, my referral link. If, be, if you are a YouTube creator as well and would like to check it out. Okay, let's see. Clarify the seven of pentacles here, please. We have the moon. And the four of cups. Okay, there has been some, you know, I feel like that this has been hidden from you. A hidden path. Hidden, uh, this is like something that's very mysterious. Okay, you might be presented with some kind of offer that, um, that you feel that you need some more information about. That it's like some kind of unknown mysterious path that somebody's asking you to walk down and you're a little bit hesitant. You're holding back a little bit. But I feel as though that there is a need for progress and movement forward. Okay. Um, I think that to figuring out and clarifying what it is, I feel like you need to trust upon your past experience. To shed some light on this path. I'm drawing one more card. Yes, clarity. In order to see things with total clarity, you have to trust your past experiences in this realm. Okay. Okay, what is this Hierophant? Hierophant, we have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Six of, of Wands here. The Five of Pentacles is a lack. It is a lack of faith. So that I, and that could also be a struggle or a block. So I feel as though in this commitment, there has definitely been some kind of roadblock that you are definitely overcoming this week with the Six of Pentacles. The six, the Sixes, again, are persevering and getting through something. You're getting through the obstacles that have been presented before you. Got obstacles there, got obstacles here. The, uh, the feeling of lack, the feeling of not having is, is um, lessening because you are manifesting something here. Tell me more about the Magician, please, with the... Temperance card here, you have the you are manifesting balance and healing within your life. I think there's healing of situations. Yes, some kind of um, authentic gesture coming towards you. It could be romantic. It could be from a family member or a friend. Somebody who wants to bury the hatchet, who wants to make peace with you this week. So I feel there's some financial aspects going on this week, Virgo, along with personal relationships. Okay. Um, tell me more about the, okay, what is this four of pentacles, please? Okay, slow, steady progress. You are definitely taking action towards stability. Your actions that you take have to be methodical and it even, and it's going to break you free. You're going to have some kind of liberation this week because you're going to see some progress towards your stability that you are trying to work towards. Okay, what is the what are the what is this conflict over here at the end? You got the seven of wands here, and you got the star card. Okay, this is um some sort of having to defend your long term goals. Again, I said that somebody may not be on the same page. There may be a block of communication that you know might be sending you at a certain landmark, a certain uh, milestone in your life. You're trying to reach this milestone, but you know there you've you had a block thrown out in your way, and this is the five of wands and seven of wands. So instead, you are finally standing up for yourself. I feel you're rising. Here we go. You're you've got the higher ground. You're rising above all this adversity, and you're making and you are moving forward. There is definitely uh, a progression, a movement. Towards your long-term goals, hopes, and dreams. Okay. Let's see what other messages are here. I tell you what, a lot of the signs are having similar messages. 
new ideas, new birth. Um, I have a feeling that the end of 2020 has something to do with the energies. Um, in December, we do have Saturn moving out of Capricorn and into Aquarius. So there is definitely a lot of changes that are occurring with a lot of people. So it kind of makes sense why this energy is coming up. And I think it is the December 6th or the beginning of December that, it is, that Saturn is moving into Aquarius. Okay, your message here is inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be boring. Uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to re reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will turn, um, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. I can't even add anything to that, Virgo. I think that message is very loud and clear. And it is echoing everything that's going on here. Okay, these are my message messages for you, Virgo. So please do again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. And blessed be, and I will see you in the next video.